What's up? I'm Brie K with Airbit, and in this video, I'm going to give you the complete guide to receiving payments on Airbit's platform. So for receiving payments, Airbit supports both PayPal and Stripe. As you probably know, PayPal is one of the most well-known and secure payment merchants in the world. PayPal allows people to pay using a connected credit or debit card, a bank account, or funds that are deposited directly to PayPal. Stripe is a highly secure payment merchant that allows customers to check out with a credit or debit card without using PayPal. Both of these require a minor setup which consists of creating an account on their respective platforms and then linking it to your Airbit account. It's worth taking the time now to ensure that everything is set up correctly to avoid issues down the line because we all wanna get paid. This ensures that you get paid correctly and that your customers will receive their orders promptly. Both PayPal and Stripe are supported around the world, but you can visit their site to see what the restrictions are and which countries do support each of the platforms. So let's talk about fees and payments. Both platforms take a small fee with each transaction and they take it automatically so you don't have to take any action to pay these. PayPal's fees vary based on different factors such as region, currency, etc. and Stripe's fees are usually around 2.9%. You can visit each of their websites to see the complete breakdown of their fees. The minimum payment that can be completed with Stripe on Airbit is $2 and PayPal can be any amount. Your money is your money, my money is my money, and Airbit does not want to interfere with it. Payment is made directly from the buyer to you without passing through Airbit. So you receive payment instantly, meaning no waiting on payouts. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, except every day. Well, it can't be every day. Once you start making sales, you'll be able to receive payment from two places. One is the Airbit marketplace and the other is your personal website slash stores. Payment on the marketplace can be completed with only PayPal, but payment in your personal store can be completed with both Stripe and PayPal. It's totally up to you what payment methods you accept. You can enable one or the other or both. We recommend having both so that if customers can only complete payments with one or the other, you won't miss out on them. If you choose not to link a PayPal account, your items will not be available in the marketplace. Now I'm going to show you how to set all this up, starting with how to set up your PayPal account. And it goes something like this. So before we get into it, I should first explain to you that it is essential that you set up an IPM. And an IPM is an instant payment notification and what it is, is the notification sent from PayPal to Airbit telling Airbit that a sale has been made. Without this, orders will not be sent to customers as they're only sent once Airbit receives the notification. So please make sure that you set this up. The notification is sent automatically once payment is complete, so there's no delay between payment being received and orders being sent. You should also consider setting up a PDT token, which is a payment data transfer. Now, this token is not mandatory. However, it provides backup so that if an IPN fails for any reason, we're still notified of the sale and orders are still sent. We recommend setting this up as well to ensure that you have the most reliable checkout process. Okay, now on to setting up a PayPal business account. So if you have an existing personal PayPal account, you can actually upgrade to a business account for free. You can verify your account by adding and confirming an additional payment method such as a bank account or credit or debit card to your PayPal account. You want to confirm your email address which verifies the email address where PayPal sends payment receipts and account emails. You might have done this already if you already upgraded your account. So first, setting up IPNs. In PayPal, you want to go to account settings, then website payments, then instant payment notifications, then click update on the right hand side, then click turn on IPN. You should be prompted for a notification URL which should be https colon slash slash api.airbit.com slash paypal slash user slash IPN. If you already have a URL set for another system, you can leave it as it is. Airbit will continue to work. Then save your settings. Now to add a PDT token. In PayPal, go to account settings, then website payments, then website preferences, then click update on the right hand side. And there are a few extra settings you can edit on this page. 
We recommend changing the block non-encrypted website payment setting to off to make sure you're not blocking any payments. Then set auto return to on, then add the URL https colon slash slash airbit.com slash store slash checkout to the return URL. Then set payment data transfer to on, then scroll down and save your settings. Go back into Website Preferences, copy your identity token under the Payment Data Transfer header, which you'll need to paste into your Seller Preferences, then save your payment settings. In your Airbit account, head to Dashboard, then Selling Tools, then Seller Preferences. Enter your PayPal email address into the corresponding field. Paste the PDT token which you generated in PayPal. Add a legal name. This is needed for contracts and your seller preferences can't be saved without this. Then save your changes. Now some extra tips. As you're likely to receive orders from around the world, it's a good idea to set up automatic currency conversions. This will automatically convert any payments into your chosen currency. If you don't do this, when an order is placed using a different currency, PayPal will put the transaction on hold until you accept the conversion in your PayPal account. To stop this from happening and automatically accept all currency conversions, follow these steps. Head to PayPal, then Account Settings, then Payment Preferences, then Block Payments, click Update on the right. Change the first setting, Allow Payments Sent to Me in a Currency I Do Not Hold, to yes, accept and convert them to your currency. We also advise checking that you're not blocking encrypted website payments as this can stop some payments going through. This can be checked in PayPal by going to account settings, then website payments, then website preferences, then click update. Then scroll down and make sure block encrypted website payments is set to off. Please be 100% sure that the PayPal email address you enter in the Airbit account is correct and free of typos as we cannot retrieve payments sent to the wrong account. You can change the linked email address at any time in your seller preferences. Just remember to repeat the previous instructions as you'll need to enable IPNs on the new account and create a new PDT token. And now I will show you how to set up your Stripe account, which goes a little something like this. Head to dashboard, then Selling Tools, then Seller Preferences, and click Connect with Stripe. You'll be prompted to enter an email address which you want to use Stripe with. If you already have an account, you can log in. Otherwise, you'll be taken through a few additional steps to create your account. Creating your account will include adding business details such as your address, bank details, etc. As you are self-employed, your business address will be your address unless you have a registered business address elsewhere. Once you've logged in or created an account, your Stripe account will be linked to Airbit and you can start receiving credit or debit card payments. Credit and debit card payments are deposited into your Stripe account and then transferred to your bank account at set intervals. By default, this interval is set to daily. However, you can change this to weekly, monthly, or manual in your Stripe settings. Timed payouts will be paid into your bank account automatically while manual requires you to manually withdraw funds. And remember, Stripe can only be used in your personal stores you will need a PayPal account if you want to sell on the Airbit marketplace. All right, I think that that is it for this video. If you have any questions on any of that, I would highly suggest that you join our Discord group and ask your questions there. The Airbit staff is amazing and pretty prompt and super thorough with answering any questions that anybody has on the site. So I would refer you to our Discord group. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and click subscribe. And please also go ahead and click that notification bell so that you can get notified every time we post a video like this with helpful content for creators, artists, producers like yourself. If you made it this far into the video, I think it's safe to say that you kind of liked it. So please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Again, if you are not part of our Discord group, 
I cannot stress enough that you need to join. There are artists, creatives, producers of all sorts in there talking about different things every day, getting feedback on their music, giving feedback on beats, and just there's a lot going on in there that you just have to participate to see. Again, I am Brie K with Airbit. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Bye.